Oh my god, come on. Okay, okay, uh... It's winter time, there's snow on the ground, there's salt on the road, and there's just muck everywhere. So you're probably wondering, well how in the heck do I clean and wash my car during the winter time? What's up y'all, it's Josh from TOC Supplies, and today I'm very excited because we have a very special video for you today. And that's exactly how to wash your vehicle during the winter time. Now don't do it like anybody else, do it like a detailer. Use the rinseless wash method. That's exactly what we're gonna do. So don't go through those tunnel washes or the touchless because we're gonna use an amazing product. So what is the rinseless wash? Basically, it's a product that we're gonna use that is not soap. It's gonna be more of a form, uh, more in the form of a liquid. And rinseless just basically means we're not gonna be using any pressure washers or garden hoses like that to rinse off the solution. All right, so that's what a rinseless wash is. What we're gonna be using is the PNS Absolute rinseless wash. This is brand new and this is a game changer. I'm telling you right now, it is really good and it's probably one of the best in the market right now. Now a rinseless wash, especially absolute here, is polymer based and it's going to encapsulate all the dirt and all the grime and all the gunk that is on your car. Now there are some things about rinseless wash though. There are some pros and there are some cons. The pros, you can use it for clay, glass, um, glass cleaning, interior cleaning, you can use it with your steamer, your extractor, etc. Of course we're going to explain a little bit more about that. But the only things that are uh, slight drawbacks of this is that if your car is super caked with a lot of heavy debris, a lot of heavy contaminants on the, uh, on the vehicle, we highly recommend that you visit a coin wash first and you blast off all of that heavy debris before you do a rinseless wash because this is perfect and this is amazing to use on lightly soiled vehicles. All right, so who's ready to do this? You ready? I'm ready. All right. So, what are you gonna need for the rinseless wash method? Well, first of all, you need your solution. As I've said already, we're using PNS Absolute. Then, we're gonna use basically a pump trigger and a uh, just a normal IK trigger sprayer for a pre-treatment of the vehicle before we actually get into the contact wash. So, we're gonna use this to basically pre-spray the paint, make sure it encapsulates all the dirt before we get into the contact wash. We got a bucket full of water. I believe I put around four gallon here. Four gallons, uh, you're gonna need your UBS Ultra Black Sponge from the Rag Company. This is really awesome, by the way. A gauntlet drying towel to, of course, do the finishing job to dry up that car. And four gray creatures for the wheels, which we're gonna show you later on on how to do that. So those are some of the tools that you need. Now let's get to the dilution ratio. So with four gallons of water, we're gonna put four capsules of Absolute. I'm not gonna complicate things for you guys. I know that dilution ratios can be a little bit weird. Basically, it's a 256 to 1 uh, dilution ratio, but you see what I mean? It's gonna be a little complicated. Just watch, because this is how you do it. So with four gallons of water, we're gonna do four capsules of Absolute. But we're gonna go a little bit over the capsule. So, all right, so we're gonna use the cap as your measuring cup. Four gallons of water, four cups of this, but we're gonna go a little bit over the cup, like I said. So, pour some product in there. That's a little over, dunk it in there. Boom, three, and four. We're gonna use our hands to basically mix the solution in, clean up that cap as well. Now you're gonna notice that with Absolute, it is gonna be a little bit murky. Oh, this water's cold. Uh, pro tip, use warm water, it's better. So we're just gonna mix it in a little bit here. And we're actually gonna use the same solution and the same water in here to fill up our spray triggers and our pump sprays as well. So don't freak out if you see that absolute's a little murky, all right, don't panic. That's how it looks like. Cool. Now that our solution is mixed in, we're actually gonna fill up this pump sprayer that we can't say the name yet because we are doing some product testing for a future brand that might be coming on TOC Supplies. So stay tuned. Uh, let's block all the names and all that stuff so y'all don't know what it is. And let's fill this up. So this is actually perfect dilution ratio for the pump sprayer already. And all you gotta do is just dunk this in. You don't even have to mess around anymore with more dilution separately on this thing. So that's good. Open that up a little bit. Fill up our IK. I mean, we already have the pump sprayer, but Having another one's not so bad, right? So um, now that we got that prepped, let's dunk the UBS right into the bucket. Let that soak. We're gonna squeeze some of that out. 
replace all that air that's inside the sponge with our solution. All right, so now let's actually get into the demonstration part. So before we get into the contact wash with Absolute, we're gonna do a pre-spray of the whole entire vehicle to get the encapsulation going on right now, all right? So let's get some lubrication on the Audi. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to soak it as much as you can to provide that lubrication. All right, so I don't know if I mentioned this already, but make sure you have a dirt guard or a grit guard inside your bucket. That way it keeps all the nasty dirts and contaminants underneath the bucket and not on your clean solution. So let's get down to actually doing the contact wash on this hood first. All right, you know, let's start on the roof. Yeah, let's start on the roof. It's the best part. So before we actually get into the contact wash, make sure that your sponge is just about Just dripping that much. All right, we're not gonna super overload the sponge with solution, just that much, and you're good to go. So with this hood, I'm gonna go one side, and as I make my way down to the hood, I'm gonna switch to one side so that it's a cleaner side for when I get to the hood, all right? So let's get on, let's get started with the roof. So we're not gonna put a lot of pressure onto the sponge, we're just actually gonna help it glide. And we're gonna go in straight motions, not in circular motions because, we're not in circular motions because that's gonna cause scratching and marring. What we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the airstream of the vehicle. So let's get started. We're just gonna go here, like that. Ooh, this feels nice. Absolute, y'all, seeing this absolute. You can drink this. No, you can't, don't drink it. Um, before you also wash the vehicle, I forgot, sorry. But do not forget to basically put your uh, wiper blades up. It'll be give you much better room to kind of do the wash, but since the wiper blades wipe a little bit, I'm gonna spray a little bit more here. Nice, soak that up. All right, so since we used one side of the, uh, of the UBS on that roof, I'm gonna use the other clean side now on the glass and the hood. So we're gonna go from here Straight motions again. Straight motions. Oh, the slickness on this is nice. I like it. I like it. My phone just beeped. Well, now, now we're on the hood. Sick, sick, sick. All right, now we're gonna dunk this back into our bucket to make sure we get rid of all the contaminant that is trapped in these basically fingers of the UBS. If you can see that, this is why this is amazing for rinse wash because it traps all the dirt in between all this little slits here. So when I'm ready to dunk the uh, UBS sponge back here uh, to basically get back into the contact wash, I'm actually gonna open up the pores. So as I'm dunking it in, I'm opening it up so that I loosen all the dirt that's in between. That way they find their way down into the dirt trap. There we go. Squeeze some of the solution out where it's barely dri dripping. That's good. Now let's do the rest of the vehicle. Yo man, this stuff is awesome. This thing just removes some serious gunk. 
So I used this side basically on the right fender. Now I'm gonna use this other side for the front half here. Then we're gonna continue our way around. And if you notice that the panel's starting to get a little, not dry, but if it's, it's if it doesn't have enough uh, lubrication, just add more product on, then go straight back to washing. So we're gonna tackle the headlights here. We're gonna make our way here into the grill, back to the grill again. You know that song, bro? Okay, sick. Nice. Yo, man, this stuff is blast. Now we're gonna flip. So as I mentioned, if you wanna Add uh, more lubrication and more product to the panel, go for it. Grab your sprayer and start doing this. All right, so now it's time to do the wheels. Now, usually in normal detailing, you're supposed to start with the wheels first and then you do the paint. But in this case, for rinseless washing, we did the paint first and whatever solution we have left is what we're gonna use the wheels with. And that's what these creature towels are for. So these creature towels, one per wheel, that way we don't um, contaminate the other wheel with the dirty one. Uh, I already have two in here that are soaking. Let's put the rest of them in here. Yeah. All right, they're nice and soaked. Let's get to the wheels. We're gonna add a little bit more solution onto the wheels here. Add a little bit more cleaning power. Soak it up. And that's pretty wet. Now we're gonna use a creature edgeless here just about that much there you go now after this microfiber towel is done with this wheel we're actually going to move it aside we're not going to use it anymore um of course there's limitations i can't really reach too deep into the barrel i can do about just as much, but this is the reality of rinseless washing, although it'll still do um, enough for you. And it'll do a lot of cleaning still. Use the back end, just scrub down the tires. Look at all that. Yuck. Now that we have finished washing the car, it's time to dry it with our Rad Company gauntlet. Now, as we dry, I'm gonna show you guys a few techniques in case you come up against something that, uh, that's gotten a little bit dry. Um, we're gonna basically uh, address that issue. So, let's get to drying first. All right, so when it comes to drying your vehicle, uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna dry in straight motions as well, not in circular motions, because that, that's gonna cause some scratching. So, we're gonna throw our towel on to the hood here. Cover that up. And if you want, you can do some, some dabbing if you want. You don't really have to. 
So once it's laid out, just pull it. So here's a little tip when you're drying the panel using Absolute. If you have a dry spot and you notice your drying towel is draggy a little bit, just add some Absolute product. Don't oversaturate it though. Just a little bit on the panel like that and begin to dry. There you go. It's gliding a little bit more smoother. It's not as grabby anymore. Perfect. There you go, drying tip. So here's another drying tip. While you're actually drying off Absolute off your car, you can actually use a spray sealant or a quick detailer as your drying aid, even while Absolute is on the panel. But of course, in my case, my car is coated and I don't think I need any toppers right now, but if you want, you can use a drying aid like Beadmaker, Strana Gloss Glatt, which by the way, we all have at tocsupplies.ca. Damn, eh? Ooh, nice. So there you have it, PNS Absolute, the rinseless wash that you've always dreamed of. Because look at what it did to my car. The gloss is insane and it did a lot of cleaning. Now before we end off, I just want to remind you guys to always wash in straight motions to prevent marring and scratching. And some of the tools you're going to need, bucket, dirt, uh, dirt guard, you're going to need Absolute, you're going to need four Creature Edgeless towels for your wheels, and the UBS sponge from TRC as your wash media. You're also going to need a pump sprayer or the trigger sprayer to basically pre-treat the car. When you're done, hit it with tire shine. And while you're drying, you can use a quick detailer of some sort to use as a drying aid. So there you have it. The Audi's looking fresh. Remember, don't forget, you can get PNS Absolute at tocsupplies.ca. Head over there now while we have plenty in stock. I'm Josh, and I'm signing off. Uh, vehicle settings. Is it vehicle settings? No. Oh my god. Driver assistance. Is it services in check. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. Upper change position. Boom.